Hello, everyone. How's it going? Um, today, we are doing our Friday Reads video, which I was going to do earlier, but I wasn't sure if it was Friday or not. So I thought about it for a while and then couldn't figure it out on my own. And then I had to do the um, checking the calendar kind of shit. Um, I don't like, like, if there's something that I think I could figure out, the last thing I want to do is um, just go straight to the calendar and see what's going on. Like, I want to try to figure it out, you know? So, um, I tried figuring it out, and I think I did okay. But today's Friday, so I could do a Friday Reads thing now. Um... And after um, having my, uh, there were some people who weren't quite thrilled with my short little review on Orwell's um, Down and Out and uh, Paris and London. I just want to reiterate, I didn't hate the book. There were just things in it that felt icky. Um... And I, I never thought I would use the word icky in a book review, but I did it. So I'm kind of trying to stick by it now. So anyway, um, I've been talking to Bookish um, about um, Hemingway and um, uh, modernism and all sorts of other stuff, um, which has been just amazing. I'm loving it. So, um, right now I'm listening to, um, A Movable Feast. This is freaking awesome so far. Um, I know there are some, I don't want to say inconsistencies, but I don't know what else you would call it. Um, like where his truth is a little different than what may be the real truth of everything is. So that is um, really fun right now. I am, what is that, like, I'm about a third of the way through it right now. Um, and it's basically just a book about um, Hemingway's time in Paris. Like, uh, I don't want to say a diary because I feel like he's looking back on it with um, a different set of lenses, if that makes sense. But um, I, I don't really know anything about the book other than that, but I'm loving it so far. And then um, I'm going through The Last Night of the Earth Poems, which uh, came out, when did this come out? Was this 90? Uh, last night. 92. So this is just like a couple years. This was actually his last um, poetry book to come out before his death. Um, this is probably like his kind of poetry opus, like the the culmination of all of his years of work. Um, so this is just a fun read. I've read it once, and I'm reading it now for the second time. But I want to show you these, because Zoe made these. And they're really cool. So she made little um, library cards for books, for bookmarks. And I think they are so good for books that you are going to read multiple times. Like this book, I'm going to read probably a lot. And other Bukowski books I have, I'll read a lot. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of who else. Like... Burroughs or um, Robert E. Howard or H.P. Lovecraft, like things that you read over and over again. Um, having little bookmarks that are library cards, you could like write down like when you started it, when you finished it, um, the whole thing, and then just leave it in the book. And then the other thing that's good about this that um, will help those of you who, um, like me, have lent books to people and then have just completely forgotten who you lent those books to. You keep it and you put, oh, 
Steve Donahue. And you keep this. And so then like three months later, you're going through all of your library cards. And you're like, I never got that fucking book back from that Steve Donahue guy. Uh, I'm going to have to go after that dude. Um, so that's really cool. So um, I'm still not going to fucking lend my books out to any of you people. But um, if I did, I would be doing this. Um, and then that way I would have like 30 more copies of Breakfast of Champions, which is a certain 29-year-old's favorite book. But, um, so again, that read-along starts on the 21st. It is now the 14th. So I guess a week from today, we're going to start that read-along. So, um, Breakfast of Champions, Kurt Vonnegut, if you haven't got it yet, go do it. Um, these are great. So make them yourself or bug Zoe to, um, make a bunch and send them to you. And I guess that's it. So that's my Friday reads. I hope you guys are having a great day and a perfect weekend and all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you later.